I rise like the sun sometimes, but then I fall. Like a black moon, I rise when the night falls. When the night falls, the mic calls. So listen, it's the ultraviolet rays that keep me rising on the mission. I rise like the sun sometimes, but then I fall. Like a black moon, I rise when the night calls. When the night falls, the mic calls. So listen, it's the ultraviolet rays that keep me rising on the mission. What up, high beast? You already know who it is. It's your boy back with another NBA update video. So this one is from the NBA draft. Apparently, Bol Bol from the University of Oregon um, was touted to be a first round draft pick. Some people even had him going as early as about eight. You know, before the college season started, he was probably even uh, people thought he was going to go even higher than that. Not only did Bo Bo drop in the draft, he dropped all the way to pick 44. Basically the middle of the second round. Um, as for why, there was a, a few comments made about um, the injury that his medicals were looking really bad. So that's why he fell so far. If you don't, if you don't recall last year, the same thing happened to Michael, uh, Michael Porter Jr. Except <clears throat> he fell to 14 when he was supposed to go, you know, at the top of the draft, um, the top few picks of the draft. But he fell to 14. Bo Bo fell all the way to the second round. There had been, you know, some negativity all week. There was one executive who said they thought he was too tall for basketball i thought that was ridiculous um there's people questioning his motor saying you know he has a low motor he doesn't try very hard the, the effort is consistent which that's a pretty um bad criticism um that's probably one of the worst criticisms you can get uh, in basketball so there was people criticizing his weight saying okay even though he's like seven foot two almost seven foot three he only weighs 208 pounds so he's you know way too light all of this stuff the motor is a tough one the motor is a tough one i i saw him at oregon though uh, we watched him at oregon we watched him average 21 points um if you have a low motor you don't typically average 21 points or maybe you do if you're seven foot two i don't know but it's rough criticism I mean, especially the motor stuff. And then the, the they said the medical looked bad. So whatever um, information they had about his medical status, apparently, you know, it was it was bad. So we'll see. We'll see. Um, but good news is he did get drafted by Denver. It's the second round. So that makes it a little bit uh, questionable because second round picks, you know, it's a non-guaranteed contracts. They don't really have to, you know, sign you to a multi-year contract or anything like that like like a first round pick you know there's guaranteed money if you get picked in the first round um if you're in the second round you don't even have a, a guaranteed spot however bobo can hoop okay so i do think he will make denver squad and um i do think they're going to give him a chance denver is kind of becoming known as the team that red shirts players to make sure that they're you know good you know healthy they did that with michael porter jr and we'll see how that's about to turn out next year or you know in the summer because I, I think he's gonna play in the summer league so we'll see i guess we can expect a, a similar type of situation from bobo Bo. i would like to see him some next year um we'll have to see i don't i don't know how hurt he is at the moment but i hope we do get to see him some but yeah bobo dropped all the way to the second round all the way to pick 44 sad story but when he got drafted it wasn't it wasn't really bad like you know he had a serious look on his face but it wasn't like you know a couple other people when they get when they expect to be in the first round they get in the second round how sometimes they're crying and sometimes they're just trying to hold it together or whatever bobo he just got up hey let me go get my hat okay let me high five some of the fan members and then you know keep it pushing the good opportunity in denver and then there's also a rumor that the Lakers acquired the 46th pick in the hopes of being able to draft him, but he was gone two picks before. So don't know how true that is. We'll see in the coming days. But yeah, Bo Bo didn't go number eight, didn't go in the first round, number 44. 
possibly like the big i think they said it's the biggest slide in nba draft history so that's rough but hey minor setback for a major comeback all right let me let me know what you guys think down below about bowl bowl sliding so far in the draft leave it down below all right see you next time